So how good is Bergans Arctic? That's actually the pants I'm wearing right now. It's a kind of salopette pants uh, that's made for winter use, if I understand everything correct. I'm going to give you my honest review of them. I've been using these pants more or less every day during a whole winter season. And I also do them a lot during the autumn. Is these pants really good for extreme winter climate? Could they be good for other activities too? How is the durability for these pants? These pants are lightweight and the other pants I have been comparing them with, like Klettemusen, they are much more expensive and much more heavy. My name is Matti. I living in Jokmok, north of Arctic Circle. I'm working as a nature guide and dog master together with my girlfriend, Stina. We run a small guide company and this is actually what we're doing for a living, being outdoors. So, so, for you who have been following us, so for you who have been following us for a while, you know that I've been actually destroying a pair of pants for $800. And I destroy them during two months. And that's why it's extra interesting with this kind of pants because they are less than half of the price than Klettemus and Freke. You should look at the review of this super expensive pant. I put a link somewhere here. You'll find it on our channel. So, my first impression of these pants was shit. They are lightweight. They are thin. And I was for a moment thinking about sending them back to Barians because I think they, this will break down in a week. But I also know that I had guarantee on them. I also know that I need content for you. So I kept them and I think this will be really good content when my pants fall in pieces in one week. So I jumped into the pants and I felt naked because this pants was so thin and they were so lightweight. So I was used with this heavy duty other pants that it is a different. Now I don't remember, but I think this one are seven less than 800 gram. And the other pants from Klettemusen that I was used to wear was like 1.4, 1.5 kilo. I write it here, of course, for you. But with this half the weight pants, I almost feel naked. So I was thinking, okay, use them a week, destroy them, send them back to Barians. So the first good thing was actually that this pants was really, really comfortable, really lightweight, really nice to wear. The second good thing with this pant is that this fabric is not this kind of membrane fabric. This fabric is something that you get wet in them, but you get also all the ventilation through it. Uh, they are windproof, but you get rid of moisture from inside. So as a skier or a dog musher, it's not super necessary with membranes in the pants. But when you're driving a snowmobile, especially when you're driving a snowmobile when the snow is a little bit fluffy and you get this turbulent or you have this drifting snow uh, that comes and pack up in the snow around your snowmobile. So when you're sitting like this, you get a lot of snow here. And if you don't have membrane, that melts and you get a wet ass. And wet ass is not so nice. 
So if I could wish for something with these pants, I wish that I get a kind of waterproof ass. Just a different kind of fabric here. Because that have keep my ass dry when I'm driving quad or driving snowmobile. Now I regret one thing. I have coffee pots here. I have firewood. So I a little bit regret that I didn't bring some coffee. So if we look at the knees, this knees have possibilities to have knee pads. And you should put knee pads in it to protect your knees from cold when you're driving a snowmobile. Uh, it also protects you from uh, when you're standing. I'm operating a lot knee standing when I make fire, feeding dogs, cutting dog food and a lot of that things. And I really enjoy to have knee pads. If I compare this to Kletemus, and Kletemus have one kind of Kevlar fabric, really, really have a duty study Kevlar fabric on the knee. That fabric breaks down very quickly. You get hole in it. When I got this ones and they are so thin, I think this will be in pieces super fast. But if you look at them here, you see it have lost the color a little bit and it's almost no scratches here. It's I don't understand how this is possible. How could this thin fabric be stronger than to have it due to blah 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 on Klethemusen? And then another thing that's super important, and that is this, the pants down here. Here you have a zipper, so you can open up. And when you open these pants, you open them totally. These pants are wide and really good here. They have also kind of a little bit more sturdy material on the inside. And this is the same. This is much, much more thinner than the fabric that Kletemusen had. But it's no holes in it. Outside here, there is a Velcro. This is good most of the time, but as you know, Velcro collect dog hair, uh, it collects a lot of things. You see, it's, uh, and then they get less and less good. It's also a problem if you go into water during the winter, because water freeze and you get ice and then this one's open. That happened a few times to me, and then I had to put um, a piece of rope or a strap around here. So, I'd, because I don't want the snow to come in under my pants or water. So, this I don't know, but this is not the best solution. And then we had to look at Hengslen. I take off the jacket. Hengslen? Um, I don't know if it's called Brace, this one's Brace or Hengslen, I don't know. But they are kind of okay. But if you look here, look here. This haven't break down, but this is not good looking. This should be that way as you see but it's not working like that this will stay like this and it was not mentioned to be like that this is not good looking but as i said not breaking down and then variants a big big mistake with these pants when we're talking about arctic pants we're talking about pants that you're using in cold climate. You use it in snowstorm. You use it when you don't want to get off, take off the pants. And then you need the drop seat function. If you don't know what the drop seat function is, that is when you open here and you drop the whole thing back here, 
and you pull away the underpants and then you make number two. Or if you are a girl, you also do it when you pee. These pants are a kind of Arctic pants without the drop seat function. That sucks, I promise you. So every time when you want to do number two, you have to take off the whole pants, take off this, open up and pull away all the things. That's not good. And these pants have pockets like this. They are okay. I have no hole. It's very thin fabric, no hole in the fabric. And two of them, they are good. And it's two of these cell phone pockets that you have here. They are really good because they are in place so you don't put the telephone in under the pants. You really get it into the... Uh, maybe I want the zipper here so you can put the, open the jacket and put in the telephone like this. Now you have to open the jacket and put the telephone in that way. So I would prefer to have the zipper uh, in a little bit different position. But that's details. So all over, these pants are good. If I was making snowshoe tours, if I'm making ski tours, or if I'm making dog sled tours, this, it's a really, really, really good choice. If you want this kind of pants for snowmobile, I don't think this is the pants for you because you will get the wet ass and that's not nice. I usually like to use my uh, salopet pants early, early spring and late autumn when I'm canoeing and do pack raft. But then you need the membrane. This is not good canoeing pants. But the name Arctic salopets or Arctic pants, it's not made for that. So if we compare these pants with the Kletemusen pants that have more than double the price, this Barrigans are like 300 euro or something and the Kletemusen is like 800 euro. These pants are super super nice and they are much much more sturdy and they will stay with you longer than the Kletemusen ones. If you could live without the drop seat function this is good, really good. So I hope that Barrigans put drop seat on them. That's a wish to Barrigans if someone from Barrigans see this video. So I think that was all from Lapland today and I'm going to continue driving and preparing the trail. Hope I see you in next video and check the video with the Kletemusen pants if you're interested. I will come out with another video later this season with another pair of pants that I'm using right now but you have to wait and see. Thank you for watching. It's nice that so many of you follow our channel. If you want to support the channel we have Patreon, buy me a coffee, and you can give the thumb up to the video if you like it. If you want to see more content from us, subscribe to the channel. Now I'm continuing preparing the trail and I hope you will have a very, very nice day. See you. Ciao.